Priscilla Jeffrey endured a lot of controversy during her run for the Charleston County School Board. Now she's an elected official. In this edition of Quentin's Close Ups, I speak exclusively with her one on one. Priscilla, good morning. Good morning, how are you? I'm okay, just great. Let me talk to you about that 35% of the vote. You actually won that as well as Michael Miller who won 36% of the vote. And you guys are actually gonna serve on the West Ashley side of the Charleston County School Board. Take me back to November 8th to right now because I'm wondering what still sticks out in your mind? What still sticks out? Um, well, first of all, I want to thank all my supporters. I had a lot of people behind the scenes that were pushing my candidacy. And the other thing, of course, that sticks out in my mind is the negative campaigning against me to try to, to not have me elected to the school board, and which started on Friday before the election. Wow. As a matter of fact, let me take you to that because this is the postcard. It says, divisive left-wing extremists. Priscilla Jeffrey wants to make her brand of divisive the visit left-wing extremists to the County of School Board. It says this, for one, supports far-left United States Senator Elizabeth Warren in opposing school choice, an activist and leader in the Occupy Wall Street movement, voted in Connecticut as recently as 2014. You told me that you voted in Connecticut in 2014, so that's true. But I'm wondering, besides the negativity, what positivity do you want to bring to the Charleston County School Board? Well, first of all, I'm not divisive, I'm inclusive, and right. anyone who knows me knows that I'm a very inclusive person. What I want to bring is equal quality education to all of the children in this county, and right now, some children are getting a fabulous education here, and some are not, and there's a lot of reasons for that, and I'm an educator, mm -hmm. and I know that it's a long struggle to pull up schools that aren't um, serving the children right. and I don't and there's a lot of finger pointing here and blaming oh, yeah. on parents and teachers right. and the school board you know what to make this work we all have to work together we have to put that all aside and as an educator I know it's absolutely possible to create a good public school I've been on a school board before right. um, but we all have to have the the will, political and just regular will, to do that. And let me continue to on what you actually just said, because you said this on Facebook on November 7th at 11, 10 a.m. Quote, who doesn't want me on the school board and is spending thousands of dollars to keep me off? If they really cared about kids, wouldn't it be better if this money would went directly to our schools that are underfunded? Um, I stand by that. It was thirty to I figured out thirty to forty thousand dollars was spent right. to keep me from getting on the school board. That's a lot of money in books, in teaching materials, right. in training, or whatever. If you really cared, or whoever these people are, really cared about kids, that's where the money should go. And especially to our underserved schools that don't have mm -hmm. enough books. Books, yeah. Let me turn back to our first interview that I did with you back in September. You know, the last question I asked you was this. Last, let's fast forward to election day. If you were to be able to serve on the school board for the West Ashley seat, what would you do on day one? You said to me, I will look into the issues. I will look into suspensions, the arrests, curriculum, and budget. So, here we are. You're elected as Charleston County School Board member. What issues do you want to tackle right now? Well, the budget, I actually have a copy of the budget now, so I've been looking at that. Um, and. Our first meeting is today. I'm not officially a school okay. board member, but there's a meeting today. I still want to look into those issues. Yes, indeed. And let's talk about the curriculum. What do you want to do with that as far as a board member? Um, I don't know the powers of, a, of okay. this local board, but okay. I curriculum is my specialty. And so I would like to see, is this the curriculum? And I know you have to... Um, have the curriculum relate to state standards, Sure. but is the curriculum appropriate for the kids in this county? And does it relate to them? Um, are they learning their history? And I, I'm not going to make any decision to okay. I thoroughly research sure, whatever sure. it is that's going on, because right now I just have innuendo and rumor to go by. Let's talk about the suspensions and arrests. What would you do with that? Oh, well, I was a member of the Charleston Area, I am a member of the Charleston Area Justice Ministry. Right. And um, we asked the school board, and they agreed to go to PBIS and um, restorative justice practices in the school. And supposedly, I haven't looked into it yet, that is the PBIS is being instituted in all of Charleston County Schools this year. Um, I would hope, and I predict that that would um, lower the number of arrests and um, suspensions because it's working with the kids within the school and keeping kids in the building at least and learning about 
what behaviors are acceptable, what aren't, and what do you do instead of practicing undesirable behaviors in the classroom. <laughs> exactly, exactly, right about that. Well, Charleston County School Board Member-Elect Priscilla Jeffrey, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for interviewing me. I appreciate this. Okay. Yeah, thank you.